Evening. It is Thursday night. All right, I just put Milo away. Honestly, some nights I just really don't want to deal with him at all. He can be still way too energetic at times and I really just want quiet and peace. So I don't think it's worth keeping him roaming the house at times because it seems kind of silly to be unnecessarily stressed from him. He can be extremely annoying. But anyways, I wanted to sit down and talk about a few things. The first thing is that a couple days ago, I decided to visit this motorcycle subreddit thread over again to see what people are doing for discomfort for their butt. And I, for some reason, this was a thread that I've seen before but maybe I didn't really look at it closely enough because people were talking about people that were making custom seats and I took a look at some of the websites and then I kind of really, I honestly really felt like the custom seat is the only thing that I can really try because putting an extra cushion under my butt isn't something I really liked. It elevates me higher, like I said, and I don't like having less of my foot on the ground because I'm already pretty short, so I'm already on my toes usually. So after browsing a few websites, I finally decided to settle on one of them and see how long the process might take or at least reach out and start inquiring about what the steps are to get myself a custom seat. So there's one here, it's kind of, it's like three to four hours north Ventura, Canada. Ooh, Ventura, California. And they did recommend that I ride up there, be fitted there in person. They would make the seat and then I would be home riding on my new seat. But my problem with that is with, you know, Riley, that's really tough. I would have to ride three to four hours north and then back. That's already close to eight hours. And then I would be there in person for several hours. So that just doesn't sound like something I really want to do. If I'm already having ass pain in 15 minutes to 20 minute rides, I think three to four hours might kill me if I have to feel rushed going up there. So yesterday I kind of filled out their form. I sent over some pictures of me on my bike just so they can get a better understanding as to like what my posture is like and where it would be ideal to add some cushion to the seat or I don't really know what their process is, but knowing the specifics is definitely better than them just shipping over some seat that is made for everybody, not specific to me. So this is something I'm really looking forward to because I do feel that once I get the seat and if it works as intended, it's going to drastically enhance my riding experience. And I've been wanting to ride further out, like two hours one way, I wanna go further than that and I just can't right now because of the seat. So if it works out, then I am really looking forward to it. And I might even want to possibly get a GoPro in, hmm, let's say by the end of the year, just because I've been really wanting to record footage of me riding. And the main reason I have avoided buying it is because I'm trying to not, you know, spend too much money. Okay, next is something that I'm actually quite excited about. So my birthday is coming up next month and I was thinking about what special thing I could do on my birthday. So something that I've been wanting to do before I decided to go to TI was to take a road trip with Riley, kind of local-ish, northeastern states around California. And my original plan or idea was to go up to Colorado. Originally, I wanted to really go to Colorado because it seems so beautiful there. And Shane told me about this one hiking spot he went to that was his favorite. He loved it. He thought it was amazing and there's nobody there. So that just seemed like a nice place that I wanted to visit. But my original plan was to hopefully go around Christmas time that week because my company gives me that week off between Christmas and New Year's. And 
I don't care about the holidays, so I'm not really doing anything special. I was thinking about going somewhere during that week, but anywhere other than here is gonna be really freaking cold. So that's probably not going to really work out for me comfort wise. I feel like everything is gonna be booked anyways because it's Christmas or close to the New Year's. People have been probably booking this vacation since the beginning of the year. So I think it's way too late for me to do anything like that. So I decided instead I would do something for my birthday, just a short weekend trip. So one of the stops along the way to Colorado was St. George in Utah. So I was looking up the area and I decided, you know what, why don't I just go there? <laughs> and then I'll just explore and enjoy the area. So that place is very close to Zion National Park. And I managed to find an Airbnb that is basically very close to that area or you get to see a lot of the direct views. It's like a small little cabin and it feels kind of like glamping which i think is like luxurious camping you're not technically in a tent or anything but it's close to it or something like that but basically it feels extremely outdoorsy this thing i'm staying in it's not anything fancy at all and i don't even know if it has a refrigerator it doesn't have any of that normal stuff like wi-fi or i don't even know but like i can maybe create a fire i don't know if i'm daring enough to do that because I don't know I don't know all the regulations or anything fire etiquette shit <laughs> I don't do any of this stuff by myself I'm truly very clueless when it comes to a lot of stuff just because I keep to myself and I've never been very exploratory I am planning on leaving Friday morning probably late morning so I can let all the traffic happen before I leave and plus like this is going to be an eight hour drive, so I don't want to rush it. I am pretty sure that I'm going to really hate the drive. I'm not very good when it comes to long distance driving. So I want to just like kind of chill and get there whenever because, you know, rushing and driving when you're tired is just not a good combination. And plus, I'm sure there'll be pretty good scenery along the way. So if I drive for most of the day, I feel like I'll enjoy most of it or all of it and then i would uh check out sunday morning maybe explore the area during the day and then start my drive close to the evening time this was definitely a very spontaneous trip usually when i think about trips i always associate them with being pricey so this airbnb isn't cheap unfortunately i really wanted it to be under 75 dollars a night for me to do this trip but this cabin just looks like such a unique opportunity to be very close to nature and I really wanted to try it out so it was 120 a night but with the fees it's kind of close to ah it's close to like 350 more like so that was kind of unfortunate so it's not super cheap and I will probably have to buy a cooler for Riley's food so that will probably cost maybe at least a hundred bucks so overall not the most inexpensive trip but i wanted to try a road trip style and there's some really nice things to see there i think it's right by zion national park and hopefully around this time of year there won't be too much people but uh another solo trip for me and I am really, really looking forward to it. It's just over a month. Uh, taking this big journey right after I turned 27. Okay, last thing, and then I will start my movie. So I did talk about this a little bit at the end of my last video, and Artifact is just something I've been really thinking a lot about because uh, I love that aspect of the game where it's like a solo progression. A lot of my complaints with gaming nowadays is just feeling a lot of frustration playing with strangers. So a game like that, it's going to feel like Diablo 3 for me where I can just log on, play, win based on like my own skill or lose because I'm inexperienced, but all of it will rely on me. So I won't have reasons to be frustrated unless it's myself or if I'm still 
a noob and learning the game. But what I'm really excited about is just picking up on this new game and learning it and trying to get really good at it because it looks like the type of game I would really enjoy playing. Honestly, once I get into the beta, or once the beta launches basically in October, I definitely plan on playing it full time. Thursday night is winding down now, so I will start my movie. And I'm trying to be more consistent with exercising because honestly, the two months leading up to TI, I did a really, really good job at exercising every day. I don't think I missed many days at all, but once I got to Vancouver, I ate very poorly because it was really hard to get good food because I'm not really willing to walk 10 minutes to get food or freaking pay a taxi or there's no way I can really get around. So I delivered a lot or I just ate crappy food. Like I ate donuts, I ate fries, I ate chicken tenders, I ate McDonald's. So I have gained or regained a lot of stomach fat when beforehand it just was actually quite flat not flat enough to the point that I was like really really proud of but very close and right now I'm a little bit sad that me not exercising the past few weeks not very good at all because I have been prioritizing playing WoW when I shouldn't have but basically not exercising as much and probably mm, eating a little bit poorly because I ate a tub of ice cream last week. So all of that combination, I have just regained quite a bit of stomach fat and it kind of makes me sad because when I think about those two months of hard work, I feel like I just undid all of that very easily. So like when you think about all the pain and the soreness and the struggle of fitness and then you undo all of that hard work so easily by just sitting around and doing nothing and eating sweets it always just sucks to think about throwing all of that effort away so i'm going to try this next month before i take my trip to be very good about it again aloha i'm on the couch with my buddy rylai Oh, hi. So, I haven't filmed very much for myself. Tonight, I plan on watching Hidden Figures, which is a movie with Octavia Spencer, Janelle Monet, I believe that's her, I believe that's her name. But it also has Kevin Costner. And this was actually a role I really liked Kevin Costner in because it's just like a serious, authoritative role, but he's just a good person. In it and this movie is just very nice it's kind of like female empowering because these are all strong and very smart women and then they try to fight for just having the same opportunities as other people employed by NASA so I've only seen it once but I am eager to watch it again right now so this morning I got an email back from the custom motorcycle seat person and he said that I have to actually ship him my own seat so I kind of had a feeling that I would have to provide my seat and that he wouldn't just provide me one completely by himself. I said that I'm not really sure if I want to do it on a weekday right after work, but I want to go for a longer ride, like at least 30 to 40 minutes total, just to torture myself and really get a feel for where there is the most pain because he wants me to like mark up my seat with tape to show where the worst spots are for where I get the most soreness and pain. So right now when I'm going to work, it's like 15 minute ride. So I don't actually, I do feel soreness. It does suck riding to work, but it's not as awful as when I go for like hour long rides and stuff. I want to provide like the most accurate depiction of everything that I feel when riding. So I want to go for a longer ride and maybe I'll like bring tape and I can stop when it really fucking starts to hurt and then mark my chair up so I told him that I'll probably try to ship it over the weekend because I really want to do this long ride and give him as much information as I can that way he can customize it as well as he can so that's what I'm going to be aiming to do this upcoming weekend not much else has been going on with me 
coming home and not having plans feels really great. Before, when I was playing WoW, I felt, I always felt so rushed right after work. I mean, it was maybe a good kind of rushed because I was excited to play, but it was a bad kind of rushed where I wanted to do nothing and just get on and play. And I don't really like having that mentality when I'm coming home because first off, my experience with the game was never worth the rushing and it was not guaranteed for me to actually really have a good time. So that's one of the bad things. The other bad thing is that it just makes me neglect other things. And you know, days like the chill days where I don't really have any concrete things I wanna do, I get home from work and I walk her. And I like that because it's like, I feel like our walk at the end of my work day kinda like seals the deal in a way. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it kind of seals <laughs> it kind of seals my exposure to the outside world and then I come home come inside and then I just chill and do my hobbies right so I feel like that's the dumbest way to explain it but I do like to take her for one final walk before uh, I just hole up for the night so when I played I never really did that much or if I did I felt so rushed and so distracted so I didn't like that I do, at times when I have periods like this where I'm not playing anything, I do miss gaming a lot because when I'm passionate about a game, it's really exciting to just play the whole day, right? But right now, I kind of need to just lay low and enjoy my movies, chill on the couch with Riley until Artifact comes out. And that is one I am so, so freaking stoked about. So I've been talking to Shane about it and Shane actually bought a beta key so he will have access as well. I was originally planning on just sharing my account with him. I guess it would make sense for him to just get his own because it comes with the full game. So it's not really that much of a ripoff, better than like some of the beta key costs that were $200 and stuff. So, ah, man, I'm trying my hardest to take my mind off of Artifact. And oh, I really wanted to be at the beginning of October but I have my little trip to Utah um, October 19th. So I think it would probably be good for the beta to come out after my trip. So I'm not thinking about it too much while I'm there. That would actually really suck. But okay, um, I think that is enough talking for me. I don't really know what else I need to bring up. So I will start my movie. Okay, I just got done with my teeth cleaning and it was a little sucky in the sense that they say I have tartar buildup under my gums. So it's like underneath and they're saying, you know, it's full of bacteria. Ideally, you don't want to just let it sit there. So they recommend that I get a deep cleaning. And I have gotten one several years ago. I don't remember exactly how long ago but I just remember it being expensive and they numb your gums and they just go in and clean that shit. Um, I don't remember it being particularly unpleasant. I was just not thrilled about the cost and stuff. So he was saying how maybe I'm susceptible to it because it shouldn't be happening this frequently. And I guess my teeth kind of suck in the sense that Unless I'm perfect with them, I feel like they just are easily able to have problems. Uh, when I went to TI, I was really bad and I forgot floss and I didn't end up buying any the entire week. So that was a week where I wasn't flossing at all. So I feel like that probably was really bad for me. I'm not really sure how much insurance will cover. I kind of get the feeling it's gonna be nothing really meaningful. It's always a little disappointing when you hear that you have dental problems. I wouldn't, maybe problems isn't the right word, but when your teeth aren't just healthy. Because whenever I think of dental cleanings, I think of it just being like a routine. I get it cleaned, there's no problems. I don't really think about what if my teeth are actually not that great. I just feel sluggish.
Why are there always so many people in this parking lot? But it's okay because I love that my car is small so I can fit in these shittier parking spots. Do I get mango green tea or winter melon today? We'll see.